Hey YouTube, it's your girl Spiritual Sage. So today we're going to do another um, pick a card, alright? These are to strengthen your intuition, alright? So the first one is Purple Amethyst. The second one is Tiger's Eye. And the third one is Black Tourmaline. Also, um, yesterday I put up Black Tourmaline and Selenite on my Etsy shop and it was like sold out in 30 minutes. So I will, got, I will let you guys know when I get more of that in because I feel like a lot of you guys need that, okay? So anyway, yes, this exercise is going to help you strengthen your um, intuition. So while you guys are thinking about it, I want y'all to close your eyes, take a deep breath, and see which stone is calling you. The first card is going to be a message to you from spirit. The rest of these cards is what's going on in your love life, okay? So while y'all doing that, I'm going to get you guys affirmation. All right, Spirit, what is the message for the collective? Oh, please and thank you. What affirmation do you want the collective to hear? All right. In all that I say and do, I choose peace. Okay, y'all know eights. I just saw 111. You know eights represent abundance. With that 111 that I just saw, that is telling me that your thoughts are becoming real, so make sure you keep them on a positive vibration. Keep your thoughts positive. All right, so for those of you who chose amethyst, we're going to put these over here. And we're going to go in with the amethyst and see what's going on. So, the message to you from Spirit is, I am one half of my message. Other people are the other half. Okay? It says, I am responsible for what I say, but I'm not responsible for what people understand. Other people are responsible for what they understand. They are the ones who give meanings to the words that they hear. All right, so regardless of what people say about you, you have to stand in your truth. People going to say and think whatever they want to, and that, that ain't even none of your business, okay? As long as you're standing in your truth and being authentic to yourself, that's the only responsibility that you have. And so this is your message to you from spirit, okay? Now, what's going on in your love life? Release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. Okay, we're going we're gonna to dig into it. So we have this fake apology here. And it looks like they're wearing that uh, Michael Myers mask. So this tells me that this is someone who will stab you in the back. Okay? And then the other card says, I like the attitude that you carry. This is you standing in your truth. This is that I wish a bitch would today. Okay? So somebody need to release. It's just, it's clear. You got to release somebody because this person will stab you in your damn back. And that's just period. Now, you guys know how energy works. This could be your energy or spirit could be telling this to somebody that you're dealing with. But either way, they need to release. Because this person could be trying to compare you to an ex. Uh, the ex could be gossiping about you with that first card. Let's see. I cut the deck on interest and judgment. All right. Let's see what's going on, spirit. All right. First card out is the hangman. All right. So somebody's trying to figure something out. And I feel like the information that they're getting, it doesn't match with what they see with you. They like how you stand in your truth. They like the attitude that you carry. And I feel like the person that's talking about you to them, it really is their ex. And the reason they're doing that is because they don't want this person to move on. And this person needs to figure that out. Or someone does not want you to move on. And you need to figure that out with this hangman. Because this person, this ex, is it, they're toxic. And they're going to come in here with these fake ass apologies. And they're possibly talking about the new person that you have in your life. And it's all bullshit. Let's see, spirit. Because I feel like if this is a new relationship, it has a good potential. Yeah, healing. Somebody definitely needs to release an ex in order to heal this new connection. All right. Now, we have the queen of pentacles. Three of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So somebody, if they release their ex, they can come up out of this heartbreak. And they can heal with the Star card. And then this person can begin to really open up to you, right? I really feel like there could be an ex-wife or an ex-baby mama that is in your person's ear telling them shit. But this person actually likes you. They say they like the attitude that you carry. This person just needs to release their ex. Their ex is telling them fuckery. I see it. They telling them fuckery, and it's not true. 444 on the phone, all right? Let's see. What else here? Mm, yeah, there's definitely three people here. Now, I don't think this person is actually still involved with this person, like in a, in a relationship or having sex with this person, but 
it's either a friend or a, a, it's an ex and it's just period and they're telling your person things about you it doesn't match with what they see and they like what they see but they still got somebody in their ear this person needs to realize that this ex does not want them to be happy yeah some coming up in the reverse they don't want them to be happy so you guys could be dealing with capricorn Taurus, or virgo an aquarius a leo i feel like this person wants to open up to you they like the attitude that you have. They like this, um, that you stand in your truth. But there's someone, which is their ex, that's in their ear telling them a bunch of fuckery. Okay? And this person needs to realize that with the hangman so that they can come about heartbreak. Their ex likes to keep them in this state. They like to keep them unhappy and they like to keep them hurt. In order for this to be turned around and this person to come up out of this heartbreak, they're going to have to release this ex. And it's just period. And I feel like... Um, so if you have somebody in your life that hasn't been opening up to you, it's because they ex is still in their ear telling them shit. Because I really feel like this, this relationship has the potential to go, uh, the distance, okay? Happiness and abundance. All right, I really do. I feel like this person, yeah, they haven't been opening up to you because of an ex and they just need to release that person. Okay, or they're going to continue to be miserable. They actually, they are. If you haven't been talking to this person, they're miserable without you. Because they actually like you. They really do. They like the truth that you stand in. It's just someone in their ear that's talking shit. And spirit is saying you need to release your ex and clear your energy. This ex could be toxic as fuck, okay? Any other messages, spirit? So, Page of Wands is news, exciting news. I feel like you could be about to get some news from someone. Maybe this person is releasing their ex and they're about to open up to you. Maybe this person was really closed off. And this is the reason why. Because they had the ex in their ear, still in their energy, energetic field. But that ex just wants to keep this person down, bogged down. They want to keep them miserable. So, I feel like you're about to get a message from this person. Because they're going to release their ex and they're going to start opening up to you. That's what I see. What's going to be the possible outcome, Spirit? What would be the possible outcome for the people who chose Amethyst? So, okay. Some of y'all, okay, so yeah, this person's going to put an end to their ex. Bring you in some justice. They're about to walk away from that person. Bring you in some justice. And here's the empress that I saw from the beginning. You're the person that, this is the ad, the attitude that you carry, that they like. This is you. You're you're this empress, okay? And so what's going to happen is this person's about to walk away from their ex. They're about to turn their back on their bullshit and come towards you to open up to you. Because like I said, with the sun, this has, there's a reason for you guys to celebrate here. All right, this person is just holding on to, and if it's not an ex that's in their ear, this is someone who's holding on to what they ex did to them, okay? So, but I see this person coming up out of heartbreak and about to open up to you, and it's going to go the distance. It's going to be healed with the star card, and it's going to go the distance with the sun, because somebody's now listening to their intuition, getting ready to release this burden, because like I said, either the ex is still in their ear, manipulating, or... Or the shit that they have done has caused this person to be insecure. Okay? So that is what I get for the people who chose Amethyst. Leave it in the comments if it resonated. It's going to be okay. You the Empress Boo. And they like you. They really do. They just was not opening up to you based on some shit that probably an ex-wife or ex-baby mama did to them. And Spirit says it's time for you to release that ex. It's an ex for a reason. You can't be, you can't compete when you can't compare, boo. And that's for real. Okay, so for all of you who chose that, it's going to be all good. Y'all about to get y'all justice. All right, so now let's bring in this tiger's eye. For those of you who chose tiger's eye. And let me do a quick shuffle. I do not have a pause button. I'm on my iPhone, so I don't have a pause button. <laughs> all right, let's see what Spirit has to say for those of you who chose tiger's eye. Alright, so your message to you from spirit. It says, self-mastery begins with self-awareness. You're going to have to look at yourself and realize who you are, how magical and how powerful you are. You see the aura that's around her? The back of the card says, with awareness, I know that I can, I can change my virtual world by changing what I believe. What is real, I cannot change. And it doesn't matter what I believe, okay? 
Self-mastery begins with self-awareness. That's the first card out. This is the message to you from spirit. Your uh, second card, it says, give a relationship a chance. Work on the partnership. So this is definitely a partnership that's worth working on, okay? Second card is insecure. So there could be some insecurities here, right? And it says, I know I messed up big time and I'm sorry. So whoever chose this power, you could be insecure because somebody could have possibly chose somebody else over you they could have cheated um but listen you have to realize what other people do it's not it does not reflect on who you are choices that somebody else has made it, it's based on them if this person cheated if that person cheated on you that's some shit they had going on within they self does not reflect who you are okay and you need to know that right now you need to know that you have a beautiful aura around you and it's just period. But I feel like this is something that's worth giving a chance. Now, this could also be someone who is kind of like that last issue a little bit. Insecure. Um, some, a new relationship has come in your life or is coming in your life. And you could be a little insecure about moving forward with this person based on what somebody did in the past. But I feel like this person saying they messed up big time and they sorry. I feel like this is a relationship that's worth working on. There's going to have to be some forgiveness here. And you need to know you don't have to be secure based on what they've done. I mean, be, be insecure based on what they did. That's something that's within them, and they know they fucked up. Let's get some energy on it. What is the spirit? Queen of Swords, cutting out what no longer serves you. Four of Cups, and then the Emperor. Wow. So this Emperor could have chose someone else over you. But they're fucking miserable. They made a horrible decision. They said it, they said. They messed up and they know they, they, they know they fucked up. And they sorry. Right? And this person's miserable without you. And I feel like they could have even made this decision because they themselves were insecure. When people have to go out there and have two and three people, that has something to do with the message that I put out earlier. When people, yeah, look at that tower. Whatever they chose over you, baby, it didn't go nowhere. It didn't go nowhere. Because the relationship that you guys have is the only one that was worth working on. Okay? So, like I said in my message earlier, the one I put on YouTube earlier, this person, when you have to have a husband, a wife, and a side chick, that's because that person's insecure. They insecure themselves. And so this person wasn't looking to do the work. And then what they was trying to do was fill a void within they self. Not even seeing the beautiful cup that was in front of them. So focused on all this bullshit down here, okay? And so this person is saying they know they messed up. They know it big time, okay? And this person could have also held back from you, but the whole time having a lot of feelings and emotions for you. But still, like, they're chasing other shit. But I feel like this is somebody who's ready to, ready to take responsibility for their actions. This person showing up as the emperor, cutting out what no longer serves them, ready to heal this connection. I feel like this is someone who's done a lot of self-reflection. And they realize that this is definitely a partnership. Wow, deep soul connection. This is a partnership that is worth putting in the effort, taking the chance, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Wow, wow, wow. This person wants to reconcile with you. They know they messed up, y'all. They see it. They realize that. They are now viewing you as the Ace of Pentacles, whereas before, even though they had feelings for you, so now y'all about to get some communication coming in, Eight of Wands. I feel like that communication, yeah, from this past person, who's that past life soulmate, the same person that hurt you, is ready to come in and make this thing right. They could have easily, I'm telling you, I feel like they chose somebody else over you. And this cup, like, I, I see it. They just, they did not see this beautiful cup that Spirit was handing them. They were so focused on this shit down here. And it was really because I feel like this person themselves was insecure. And so, they could have been projecting onto you what they felt about themselves by going out there and choosing some bullshit when they had this beautiful cup in their face. Well, they realize that now with the tower. And so, you're about to get communication. And I feel like it's going to cause this thing to move forward. I feel like there will be some healing here. Okay, Spirit, what's the possible outcome of this connection? Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay, now we got the Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, Eight of Swords. Wow. Seven of Swords is being sneaky, trying to get away with some shit. The Page of Swords is watching. The Eight of Swords is being, like, fearful or being stuck, okay? 
This could all have been past energy. But let's see, honey. Mm. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, I feel like that was past energy. I feel like this person has healed from that toxic bullshit. This person is now single, truly single, because I really feel like there was somebody else involved. But that all went away with that towel. And so now they're single with the Nine of Pentacles, ready to uh, manifest this brand new beginning with you. And yes, you guys are about to get some communication, okay? Yeah, they was lying. Being sneaky in the past, but still watching you. It's like they knew they had feelings for you, but this person had to do some work. They had to do some inner work. This is someone who was insecure within themselves, and so they had to have multiple people to fill that void. Um, and it just it did not work out the way they thought it would. Okay, tower. And so now they've cut out the toxicity with the Queen of Swords and the Devil. They've done some self-reflecting with the Hermit, and they're ready to heal this connection. This Emperor is ready to come in and do the right thing. Yes, this person's choosing to move forward, turning their back on all that toxic bullshit, okay? No more third parties. No more third parties. I like this. So it's up to you, collective, you know, whoever chose this group. It's up to you, but I really see someone who has learned a lesson. And they've healed themselves, and now they're ready to heal the connection, okay? Mm. So, I feel like you was, and maybe you were just standing in your truth the whole time, knowing you, you your worth. And if you wasn't, that was Spirit is saying. It, this person's actions had nothing to do with your words. You've always had this beautiful aura around you. Okay, it's important that you know that. It's important that you know that this person was doing the shit that they was doing because they were insecure with they self. Always looking for the next best thing, not even realizing what was right in front of them. Okay, but they see that shit now. They've released this toxic energy. This person from the past, this emperor, they've cut it out and they're ready to give this relationship a chance. Okay, so that's what I have for the people who chose the tiger's eye. All right. Now, let's go in with the black tourmaline. If you chose black tourmaline, let's get a quick shuffle in. Mm -hmm. And with all of these stories, I feel like it's because you, stole, you, you, you stood in your truth. It says, in all that I say and do, I choose peace. You didn't argue with this person for group B, um, Tiger's Eye. You didn't argue with this person when they wanted to run out there and choose somebody else. You stood in your truth knowing the whole time. Who you were with that aura around you, okay? The person who chose the amethyst group, A. Uh, they even said they like how you stand in your power, okay? And even this person was closed off to you because of some shit an ex was telling them or some things an ex did to them. You just chose peace and you chose to be your true authentic self, okay? Now, let's see. What's going on? All right, so for those of you who chose black tourmaline, see what spirit has for you guys. The message to you from spirit says, today is the day of my last judgment. Mm, I've never seen this card before. Today is the day of my last judgment, okay? Today is the very last day that I judge my entire that I judge either myself or anybody else, okay? It is the day that I accept myself just the way that I am. I accept everybody else just the way that they are. The reward is my eternal happiness. So this is somebody who could have been judgmental, could have even been very critical of themselves and those around them. And somebody saying, you know what, today is the last day I do that. I feel like judge, being judgmental could have held you back or could have held this person back. And so now this person's ready to be free of that. This could even be someone who was bogged down by religion. Um, religious people are very judgmental. Y'all know that, okay? And that ain't news. But this could be somebody who they done got a whole cup of tea. They've been getting the tea. And they just like, you know what, this is bullshit. I'm judging people based on what I was taught. And I've been judging myself, and it's all bullshit. Today's the last day of me doing it. I'm ready to let people be who they are, and I'm going to accept myself for who I am. Wow, very powerful. And that is your message to you from spirit, okay? So, your relationship, past life relationship. You have known each other before. Wow, okay. Sport, somebody studying you. I get that when I see this card. 
They're really studying you. They're pressing pause, pressing rewind, starting it over, pausing it, really studying you, okay? And they were very judgmental. Mm-hmm. They were. This person was very judgmental of you or you were very judgmental of someone else. But now, guess what? They're like with the C, baby. They're ready. To, they want you to marry them. This is a past life. Mm -hmm. So with this past life, this could be a very spiritual connection. This person could have been raised very traditional. And that's why they was very judgmental and critical of just not just themselves, but of you also. But it's past life. There was a strong connection there. They couldn't get away from it. And they really have been watching hell out you, been studying you for a long time. And this person's just like, no, me judging this person is really keeping me from my happiness. I want to be with this person. I want to marry this person. So today is the last day that I judge me or this person based on my religious ass beliefs or based on the things that I was taught in my past. Right? I'm finna go in and I'm finna marry this person now because this is a past life relationship. We've known each other before. That's what's going on right here. And again, it's because you stood in your truth. You could be the one that they was judging. You could be very, very spiritual. And this person's very traditional. Like watching sports on Sunday is a traditional thing, right? So this person could have been very uh, traditional. they like, fuck that. Me standing in these old ass uh, thought patterns, these old paradigms is keeping me from my happiness because this is somebody that I want to marry. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I can't make it up. King of Pentacles is the husband. Baby, somebody's bringing balance, okay? They are bringing balance to their life because they're tired of being miserable. This person's miserable without you based on the shit that they've always uh, known or been taught in the past. I feel like somebody about to take action, come towards you because they want a damn marriage now. This person ready to work with you. I can't make it up. Look at you. Look at you, man. I love it. I love it now. And they was lying to the self, keeping the self stuck. And it was all based on old ass traditions. This person could have even kept you waiting, child. They could have even kept you waiting, studying and watching you the whole damn time. Stressing because this beautiful person that's in their face, this empress, goes against everything that they was taught. Because this empress is spiritual, standing in her truth and her power. And now somebody's putting it in to being judgmental. This person's going after they motherfucking wishes be fulfilled. This person wants to have a brand new beginning. Who is the emperor? I can't make it up. I can't make it up, y'all. This emperor's coming in to get his empress. And that's just period. And what was keeping this person away from you was old ass tradition that was bogging this person down. This person had to go through. I see the death right here. Thank you, spirit. This person had to go through a uh, mini uh, spiritual awakening, right? This person had to learn something new. They had to become independent from them old thought patterns. I really feel like they did. Some shit came tumbling down on this person. And so it made them start to look at what makes them happy, what they really want. And they know they want to move forward with you. Okay, you are the blessing. I can't make it up. You are the blessing. They're ready to move forward. This person has made that damn decision. They're holding on to it, and they're coming in to conquer this. This person wants to reconcile. They're ready to celebrate because this is definitely a past life situation. Past life relationship. It says it on the card. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up, and I won't. I love this, y'all. This is amazing. I wish I could have been this group right here. <laughs> this is simply amazing. Right, so guys be looking for somebody to come in that's been watching. They had you waiting, okay? They were studying the hell out your ass. Couldn't let it go. But it was past traditions that kept this person from moving forward. Mm, mm, mm. So let's see what message of spirit has for everybody. For everybody. For everybody. What messages do you have for the people that's watching? For everybody that's watching. Grounding. Get yourself grounded. Go deep and explore your roots. Yes. Mm. I feel like you've been doing it. I feel like you guys have been in solitude. Because like I said, everything that you say and do, you, you've chose peace. You're very grounded. I feel like it's the people that y'all dealing with that need to get grounded. Okay? What message you got for them, Spirit? Mm. Five of Pentacles. These people could have been leaving themselves out in the cold. 
Yeah, they have all three of these stores. These people was leaving themselves out in the cold, making decisions based on old ass paradigms, right? Group A, B, and C, all of them was making decisions based on old paradigms that was keeping this person in a toxic energy. Okay, it was now. Group A, B, and C, all of them. All of paradigms, okay? Each one of these people had feelings, had emotions for you, and whatever, whether it was insecurities, uh, traditional shit, whatever the fuck it was, or listening to past people, all of it was bullshit. Now somebody's ready to stand in their truth and go after what they believe. I can't make it up. They taking action because shit, they just tired. Okay, it's been cut. Listen, these old ass paradigms is being broken up. These people are tired of leaving themselves out in the cold. So everything had to come crumbling down in order for this person to get themselves grounded and explore their roots. Figure out what made them happy, what, what they wanted to do. Not listening to nobody else, not listening to old traditions, old thought patterns. Okay, this is somebody who had a towel when they out by themselves getting messages from spirit under that old ass tree. Tree, listen. Trees been here a long ass time and they hold a whole lot of secrets and they hold a lot of wisdom. And you sit up under one, if you sit up under one long enough, you're going to leave that place a whole new person. I'm telling you what I know, okay? And so somebody's sitting there getting grounded, getting messages from spirit, figuring out what it is that makes them happy. Not what everybody else got to say, okay? I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so that is what I have for you guys today. I hope this gave y'all some clarity somewhere. Leave it in the comments, okay? It's your girl, Spiritual Sage. I feel like it's an effort that's going through all this shit. I just got to be honest with you. I feel like in each one of them situations, there was an emperor that was going through all this. Mm. And I feel like you were the one who was choosing to be peaceful in all that you do and say. Just being the lighthouse. And being very abundant, eight is all about abundance. It's a very spiritual number too, okay? And I feel like justice is coming in for each one of these situations. I like it. I might have to go back and, yep, somebody definitely taking a leap of faith. I'm going to have to go back and watch each one of them stories, okay? So anyway, that's what I have for y'all. Somebody can time stamp it if you want to, all right? Till next time, bye.